All right, next Saturday will be at night. Next Saturday's scrimmage will be at nighttime, the mock game. Uh, we'll, we will go in the mornings this week. Uh, Monday, you guys know, player day off. Tomorrow night will be a, a quick practice at 5.15. Uh, and will be the evening, then Monday will be the players' day off, and then we'll go pretty hard Tuesday through uh, Friday, and then we'll scrimmage Saturday night in here at, uh, I think it's at 6.30. So um, what questions uh, can I answer? Did, did it seem like something clicked for Jaden yesterday maybe that even carried over into today? <laughs> yeah, I think it actually clicked the walkthrough after the day before yesterday. Uh, he, had a, he struggled the day before yesterday, but there were some things that he just needed to see. And, um, you know, he just needed a rhythm. And he's got a nice little confidence about himself that when he feels that he knows something, he's going to execute it really well. Sometimes when you have a new play coming in or a couple new things that he was uh, maybe overthinking here or there. But uh, Jaden's getting better every day. Um, I just tell him, trust the process. And if you do that, good things will come your way. Do you believe in the idea of a gamer quarterback versus a guy that does well in practice and all that? I think that there is a gamer, and I think really what it is is guys, uh, guys that have the skill sets of a Jaden uh, that can run and throw, guys that you know are able to be slithery in the pocket like a Noah, you know, even Jordan to a degree. That sometimes when you're sitting back in the pocket and you're you're not getting tackled in practice. It doesn't look like you know you're making some of the plays that you really would end up making. I think those are really the gamers, the guys that can make plays in games that in practice you know they're sitting back there and not really doing their natural. Um, I would say you know the other part of it is there are guys that can turn it up a notch when it's uh, when the lights are on and the big stage, and those are the guys that can get those resting heart rates down. And you know that would be the other part of it. Jay, you talked about having quarterbacks that can make plays off schedule. How, how much is that going to maybe dictate you having to play more shotgun this year than you did last year? Yeah. Uh, well, we were definitely more shotgun this year than we were. Um, than we, you know, than we were, let's say, last year at this time at this scrimmage. Um, you know, it's it's more about the players than the off schedule plays when it comes to shotgun. Uh, I think that Jaden has a nice comfort level in gun. I think that uh, Noah has a nice comfort level. They do a nice job from under center. They get back there pretty fast right now, which is good. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a trend as well. I think we were, you know, 32% last year uh, under center. I, I hope that we'll probably be much less than that this year. Considering uh, he just got here right before camp, how impressed have you been with DJ? Yeah. Yeah, you know, he has experience, uh, which is – a huge difference than if you just got here and you're a freshman. You know, so he has Auburn as a starter. He has FSU. So he's had some offenses that he's familiar with. So he can quickly say, got it, that's an inside zone play. I might have called it different somewhere else, but I recognize it. I see the, the blocking scheme and I can go attack it. Uh, he's done a nice job of um, quickly understanding how to, like, say that this means this, so now I'll do that. Um, he, he's, a, he's a nice addition for us. We're excited about how he runs downhill for sure. It seems like a lot of the freshmen are picking up the offense and defense pretty quickly compared to his pass at Arizona. Just talk about the talent. Yeah, I would say that the, the biggest thing that, that we have found is it's the programs you come from. And what we really tried to do, and we talked about this a lot during that recruiting cycle, was find programs, for, uh, find players from winning programs. And then, you know, the players came from Servite, the players that came from Chandler and Hamilton, the players that came from uh, Modern Day or Bosco and Oaks, and you start St. Thomas Aquinas, you start naming the top programs in the country. And if you're getting players from those programs, they do have the ability and they are uh, quick learners, I would say. And uh, it has sped up their process. Can, can guys like T-Mac and Rayshon Luke provide some answers to your red zone problems? We saw some of that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that red zone of last year is going to be is different than red zone of this year. I think our team is different from last year to this year. So I, everything's different. I'll tell you, the, the biggest thing about scoring in the red zone, and I said it every week last week, is you have to run the ball in the red zone. So if you're not running the ball very well, then you're going to struggle in the red zone. You can't just defend three passes in the red zone. It's the that's the worst red zone teams. The best red zone teams are the ones that run it the most and throw it the least uh, when you get inside the 10. So hopefully, really, the difference makers will become, 
you know, are we better at running back? If we are, then they'll have to defend us differently to open up some of the passing windows. That's the play calling for yourself for the last year. Oh, that's for somebody else to assess, I guess. Uh, I think that it's about this year and what we did with this year's team. Called plays for 11 different years at 11, four different teams. Just comes down to trying to figure out how we can do the best job with this team right now. Can you, can you uh, have some can, can, the differences between Noah and uh, uh, Jaden? What they do similar and what they're... Um, yeah, I would say, uh, you know, they're both... They both have very similar skills. They're both good passers. They're both uh, are very kind of nifty in the pocket. They're both able to um, make plays with their feet. They both are able to uh, throw the deep ball well. Um, they both have good vision when it comes to throwing on the move and keeping their eyes up. I think really, uh, you know, Jaden treats Noah like his little brother, and uh, they have a fantastic relationship, and they're continuing to build this thing together. That's Hopefully time. you could update us on some of the guys who've been out, uh, what their status is, like uh, Stukes, uh, yeah. Jalen John, or Keon Bars didn't participate today. Yeah, um, right now, uh, you know, I feel pretty confident that uh, Stukes, Bars um, are right on schedule to be able to play September 3rd. Uh, how long it takes between now and September 3rd will be a day-to-day. Um, situation as far as uh, Jalen we're still uh, evaluating where he's at but uh, the rest of the team anybody that was dinged up or didn't fully practice today that was just a a day-to-day -day type thing of holding them out today I expect most guys back Monday not Stukes uh, Stukes will be back probably uh, when when he feels right but it should not be anything before the se before the season we should be full go I love it it's beautiful it's beautiful. Um, the locker room, you could see they also repainted uh, the, the bleachers. You see the difference between the two rows. So uh, those look new. I think the new red looks good. I think the new banners look good. And, um, you know, we're hoping that these changes will continue to give our players a new feel. New locker room leaving, get on a new field, and uh, start 2022 brand new. That's our goal. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you all.